When I was 19 years of age, as you heard, I started to preach the gospel. When I was 27, I went to Africa, from Germany to Africa. German is my background. And uh, when I arrived in Africa, things didn't go well. The people were interested in my preaching. I sometimes traveled half a day to preach in a church and there were five people there. And not one of them wanted to get saved. It broke my heart. I fasted, I prayed, I cried to God, day and night. And then in one night, I had a dream. It was more than a dream. I saw a map of the continent of Africa. And I saw how that mighty continent became washed in the precious blood of Jesus. And I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit cry, Africa shall be saved. That got me more than out of bed. I left my position as a missionary and I started a ministry. I was the only member of it with my wife. I called it Christ for all nations. And I didn't know how to start. I said, Africa shall be saved, Lord. Here I am, but I haven't got a clue how to start and where to start. But then the Holy Spirit led me. I, I, I don't want to tell you old stories, but it is a fantastic story. The Lord told me to rent a stadium. I said, Lord, that's wonderful. I always wanted to preach in a stadium, but the people never came. But if you say I'm to preach in the stadium, I will preach. I booked it by faith. The first night I had 100 people there. My nightmare was fulfilled. <laughs> I preached for 10, 15 minutes when suddenly things began to happen among those few people. Somebody jumped up and screamed, I've just been healed. Another one, another one, another one. And I thought, how can they interrupt my preaching. <laughs> I hadn't prayed for the sick at all. I learned my first lesson right there, which is that I believe often Jesus cannot wait until we preachers have finished our boring sermons. He itches to do great things. That night a blind woman received a sight, a cripple walked. And after a few days, that stadium was packed. I saw the first mass outpouring of the Holy Spirit. It shook me. I wept like a little kid. My God, my God, is it possible? And that day I knew Africa will only be saved through a might, mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit that will break the devil's back. And this is true for America. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want 